I'm Kathleen. Welcome to Kawaii Art Cafe. So in today's studio vlog, I decided to make my own backing cards for my acrylic pins in my shop. Now usually I order my backing cards from Vistaprint. I pay roughly about $20 or so for 100 backing cards. And I realized I really don't need that many cards. <laughs> I really like the idea of having different designs for multiple pins, so I decided it would be a lot more cost efficient if I made them myself. So I experimented with a couple types of cardstock and printed out my own design. I was super happy with the result, saved a lot of money, and this is how I make my backing cards basically. So I printed on cardstock, then I apply some clear vinyl, which I ordered more as you can see. I'm running pretty low. <laughs> I can't believe I went through the whole roll of sticker vinyl. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I apply the sticker vinyl over the cardstock to kind of give it that like glossy finish and make it a little bit more thicker and sturdy. Just smoothing out the bubbles here. And then I also bought this paper cropper um, from Staples, I believe. Yep, and I actually prefer this over my cutting machine, especially since the silhouette doesn't exactly cut to the edges of the paper, you are limited to the margin, so I just preferred cutting it manually. And once I cut them up into little squares, this is what they look like. Super happy with the result, I added my socials on the bottom and a cute pun on top. Which you'll see the pin later. And then I decided to design some more, so I recently ordered three different pin designs from Sticker Mule. And this is me just preparing the other backing card designs. I made three in total. So I made a teal one and a pink one. The cute little quote that says, You look like spirits. <laughs> and lastly, this is the You Are Very Special pin. Honestly, this one's my favorite. I did test it on a piece of paper to make sure it was the right colors before I did print it. And this is what all three look like. <laughs> Comment below which one's your favorite. Alright, and now time to reveal the pins. If you guys have been on my Instagram, you might have already seen my designs. <laughs> but if you haven't followed me on Instagram, feel free to check the description down below. Honestly, I'm super happy with how they all came out. And now I'm going to show you guys a little bit of how I package them after I take some photos real quick. I think it turned out pretty cute. <laughs> okay, so when the pins come in, they do have a protective film, so I peel that off. I remove the metal backing. Then I grab one of the cards here over a piece of styrofoam and just pop it on top just like that. Super simple. But I think it turned out so cute. I made a really cheesy pun, you lift my spirits, because the pin is in reference to the movie Spirited Away, get it? <laughs> yeah, it's not that funny, but I thought it was cute. <laughs> and then doing the same process for the Totoro pin. Honestly, I really like this one too. I was surprised when I got these pins made by Sticky Mule. I was worried the tiny little details would get lost in such a small pin, because these are, I believe, 1.25 inches. Oh, and if you're curious, the cards are 2.5 inches. But yeah, I was really happy that Sticker Mule had amazing print quality. They were able to retain all the details I had in the design. And lastly, my little bunny pin. I don't have a name for this character, but maybe you guys can help me name him. Yeah, the next pun is you are very special. <laughs> Sorry, now my puns are lame, but honestly, they're my weakness. I just enjoy them so much. <laughs> okay, but this is pretty much what they look like. And then after I'm done applying the backings, I'm going to show you here. Stack them all together. And these will be available in my Etsy shop pretty soon. Um, you can check those out in the link in my bio. And just to show a little behind the scenes, I use a lot of light in my setup, especially when I'm taking photos. So, Just to kind of show you guys what it looks like when I'm recording videos. And lastly, to seal the deal, I just pack up my pins and my backing cards into these cute little cellophane bags. One, to help keep them waterproof and to keep them from getting scratched when I package them with multiple things. But also just because it's just so cute, right? <laughs> 
I think it makes them look like tiny little desserts. Yeah, this is pretty much how I package the pins. And you guys will be able to see how much I sell them for and how I advertise them on my Instagram, my Facebook, and my Etsy shop. Comment down below which pin is your favorite. Honestly, mine is the little bear, your very special cake. <laughs> I do like the pink one too. Looking for some fabric for our new tent. fabrics I wanted. It's the mint one and a white one for my tent. So I went home to prepare for the convention a little bit coming up in October. We took my pink and white tent and wanted to make another one since I'll be having two tables. And this one's gonna be white and blue which I think is so pretty. So it's basically going to be like this canopy here, but the pink stripes will be replaced with blue stripes. And next, I'm going to be unboxing a little thing I've been waiting for. If you could not tell from the quality of this video, I finally got a microphone. Yay! <laughs> I know the audio quality hasn't been the best for my videos, but because of all of the support from my Kofi supporters, I was able to afford this microphone to help improve and give you guys better quality videos. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. Whether you guys are a donator or just viewing, honestly, like watching my videos alone is such an honor. <laughs> I'm really so happy that you guys take the time to sit down and watch my little studio vlogs and what I do at Artist Alley's. It really means so much to me. So I did want to give, give back to you guys with better quality videos, as well as a Patreon. So I am going to be launching a Patreon pretty soon. If you guys follow me on any of my social media, I've slowly been talking a little bit about the different kinds of rewards, which I'll be revealing a little bit later. But as some of you know, I'm actually going to be releasing a podcast very soon. So I'm super excited to share that with you. I know in my videos, I kind of show you guys like a little bit behind the scenes of artist alleys and what I do in my studio vlogs, but I do feel like I have a lot more content to share as far as being a female entrepreneur, being an illustrator, like my thoughts and processes and like behind the scenes, I'm not able to really share on YouTube that much. So if you guys are interested, I talk about things like the failures and successes of starting a small business my thoughts and feelings, and if you guys are interested, you guys can hop onto my Patreon, which will be live on October 1st. So thank you to my Kofi supporters. Uh, this video wouldn't be possible without you guys. I really appreciate all of you guys for watching. <laughs>